Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam. Hey, welcome back to a quick beer review. Uh, another cheap beer. This beer is a guilty pleasure of mine. It is in my fridge a lot of the time. Uh, this is Ham's premium beer. It doesn't say premium on this can, but I think this is their retro can. Um, the typical Ham's can is cool. It's white uh, with a bunch of stuff on it. And it was, you know, I think it always said Ham's uh, premium beer on it. From the land of the sky blue waters. Uh, Ham's is a 4.7% lager. Um, Ham's Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I think Ham's is Miller Coors. Is that right? I think they are. Um, this is a beer we used to drink uh, in college. You used to be able to get a 30 pack of hams for $9.99. Um, I don't know if they still come in 30 packs. I was at the store last weekend and there was a 24 pack for $12.99. So still, I mean, a super like, <laughs> it's cheap beer. But you know what? I love this beer. This beer to me is delicious. So I was like, hey, I'm going to throw a video up. We've done cheap beers before. I think we did a... Uh, we did like Coors Banquet, we've done PBR, what else have we done? I'm gonna do some more cheap beer reviews. I just, these are beers that, I mean, everyone likes to shit on in the craft beer world, but um, secretly I think that they drink these. So um, I have no shame in saying that I love hams. So let's do it. I used to have a ham sweatshirt back in the day. It had a bear on it. They used to have like a bear, what was, it? I don't even remember what the bear's name was, but yeah. I'm a hams guy. Uh, so is my man Cupcake Craig. He is about that hams life. So I think these are beers that brewers that you guys love are drinking when they're brewing beers. Um, I just, I don't know. I think it's time to stop shitting on cheap beer because we all grew up drinking them and we all still love them. So uh, we just drank Labatt Blue and this beer looks just like that. Uh, it's that straw yellow, looks like a lager. Um, plenty of carbonation again with this one finger of fluffy bright white head. It is hot AF out here um, You can see like the little cold ring at the top of this glass, but yeah Looks like a lager. Let's shove our nose in it This just has like I don't even know what that smell is um, I mean I say it every time I drink lagers. It smells like beer um, But this has like a it's really like white bread crusty and it has, this has like a cool grassy like hop thing. This actually, I mean, most of these beers don't smell like too intense, but I think hams for some reason, you just, whatever hops they're using, um, it just like comes out. It's like a, just a grassy hop. It smells grassy. And it just has, yeah, it's like that sweet kind of like white bread crust, almost like sourdough bread. Like it doesn't smell sour, but it has like that sourdough bread thing. It smells nostalgic. It smells like beer. Cheers. It's just so light and thirst quenching and refreshing. Um, that grassy hop that you smell, um, you taste it right on the middle of your palate. Doesn't stay around long. Again with this one, this is a hop, like a hot weather, just chug a hundred of them. <laughs> I mean, it's 4.7%. Um, I, I wish I had like a lawn to mow right now. I would mow it and I would drink this beer. Um, it's not, this one's not too sweet. It has a sweetness, um, super bready, bread crust, um, like malty, but it has that grassy kind of hop thing right on the middle of your tongue. Um, this beer doesn't taste bitter at all. It doesn't have like, you know, any sort of like bitter um, finish to it. It's just really crisp, light, super, super dry. It would be interesting, like I've never really sat with cheap beers and like drank them without knowing like what is what. Like a lot of these taste the same to me. I do like that this one's not super sweet. A lot of them can get pretty sweet, um, but this one's not. Um, this is just an easy drinking, just chugger of a beer. So um, the price point is awesome. This, I mean, 24 pack, what I say, it was like $12.99. It's cheaper than most cheap beer you can get. It's cheaper than Budweiser, it's cheaper than Coors, at least in my area. Um, so maybe that's why I have a love for it. Um, back then when we were buying 30 packs for 9.99 like that's what we could afford and it just you fell in love with this beer I still like it all these years later. So um, I feel Like I said, it's in my fridge a bunch um, I know other people like it. This is one of those beers. If you've never tried it check it out. You probably like it um, It's light. It's thirst quenching. It's refreshing especially right now when I'm sweating good stuff Not offensive at all not 
Like, I don't know. I feel like when I first started drinking beer, first beer I ever remember having um, was Budweiser. And I was just like, ugh, it's disgusting. Maybe my palate's changed. I don't know. I feel like if someone, someone were to drink this for the first time, like never having beer, it just kind of feels light and not offensive. Like, I just, I don't know if I would get that whole vibe from this. If, if Like, if this was the first beer I ever had. Maybe it would be the same. I have no idea. But big fan of hams. Easy drinking. Awesome. In warm weather. So... Uh, you guys fans, you guys drinking ham still? You should. It'd be fun to talk about it. So that's it. I'm out of here. I'll see you guys soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade. All that shit. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.